Graphically, when we talk about slope, we're talking about the steepness of the graph. Okay? But unlike, the, uh, uh, unlike some of the things that we do, um, when we just use general words like slope and steepness, there's a slight difference. I want you to sort of see this. When we talk about how far something is, do you ever say it's negative? No. No. Okay? I need you guys to catch this. When we are talking general, and we talk about how far something is, we don't, the answer does not take into account what the direction is. If I ask you how far do you live from here, and I want a distance, you, you probably are not going to say, I live 12 miles south-southeast. You know, at a bearing of, you know, you just, we usually sort of remove di the direction from our speech. And that's why I want you to hear negative, to say negative is to say a direction. So it should be more specific. It's like saying east or west or south. It's to say a direction when you say negative in mathematics. So in mathematics, we don't just say how far something is or how steep something is. We don't just say that and that alone. We also give a direction, which is positive and negative. It's like our east, south, west, uh, which one did I miss? North. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that when we talk about slope, we're not going to just talk about its steepness. We're going to talk about whether it goes up or whether it goes down. And when it goes up, it's positive, And when it goes down, it's negative. Okay. So we have two parts to it. It's not just, just pure steepness. It's about direction as well. Okay? All right. So what is the uh, word version? First of all, what letter do we use for slope? M. M. Okay. Well, we did this last year, and you did the year before, and you did the year before that. I'm not expecting this to be entirely brand new. Okay? M. I do not know why we use M. We just do. Just deal with it. Okay? M is the letter we use for slope. In words, in words, what words do we use? To say slope is. They start with R. Rise over. Rise over. Rise over. Oh, okay. Those are the words you're talking about. Okay? Which way do you rise? Up. All right. Okay. <coughs> Typically, you rise. Up. If I said the sun rose today, I didn't mean. I mean. I didn't mean it was going. It was going like this along the horizon, right? Diagonally <laughs> towards. It goes. I'm generally up. referring to up, right? Now, this word is kind of. It's, it's not as good a word as, as we sh probably should have used. We probably used it just for the alliteration of rise over run. But really, when we talk about rise, we're not just talking about up. We're also talking about down. In general, we're talking about anything that's vertical. And that can be up or down. So rise is how far it went up. Or, because I said, we don't just say how far, we say which way. Did it go up? How far? Did it go down? How far? That's rise in math. So which way is run? Right. Horizontal. Okay. Yeah. It's left and right. Right. If I if you said I went for a run today, I would not assume you were flying. <laughs> you know, I would I'm not gonna you know I assume you ran horizontally, not vertically. Okay, that's why we use the word run. Run is horizontal. And it refers to, again, we don't just say how far it is, we say which way you went. Did you go left? Did you go right? Okay? So we have an up, down, and a left, right component. And in mathematical terms, this is the way it's written. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. What, is it, what word do we use when we subtract? What's another word for subtraction? Okay, no, I mean like the idea of like, okay, difference. addition, addition, a difference, the difference, okay? So what this is saying is the difference between your two y-coordinates. 
your y coordinates are your vertical coordinates, right? Yes. So what it's asking for is what's the difference this way? That's what's called the rise. How, how far they are and which way it is. And depending on which one you pick, you're either going to go up from one to the other or you're going to go down from one to the other. Or maybe they're at the same place and you don't go anywhere. Okay? Same thing with the other one. It's the difference. Which, and I want you guys to hear this. This is something that might blow your mind. Whoa. Wait, the absolute value? No, not absolute value. The absolute value of difference is distance. Let me say that again. The absolute value of difference, you guys need to hear this. This is a big math idea. The absolute value of difference is distance. Again, shh. In the normal world, uh, and, and when we talk about things in general, we don't say what the direction is. And we only say how far something is. And that is distance. The difference also indicates, awesome, I'm so good at that. Uh, the, the difference also indicates which way you go. Remember with absolute value? Does absolute value care what side of zero you're on? So the absolute value does not care about direction, it only cares about distance, how far, right? And so if I take the difference includes not just how far, but which way, if I take the absolute value of that, I, all I'm really taking away is the not how far, that's still there. I'm taking away which way I went. So when we talk about difference, it's both distance and direction together. Okay? All right, we'll wait for this. You did. Pop back up. Come on. Is it on? Let's go. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it just takes, the thing is, if you turn it off like that, all of a sudden it needs to warm itself up, and that's what it's doing. Okay, so... The slope, there's a number of ways, uh, well, there's really two main ways to do it. So let me, let me start by doing the easy part. Let's graph it. One, three. One, one, two, three. I hope all of you can do this. If you're really struggling with graphing points, you need to get on it now. Ask me questions, get on it, because this course is going to be miserable if you can't graph the points. Okay? Negative 2, negative 3. So here's 1, 3. And here's negative 2, negative 3. All right, let me graph this line. The line just connects them. My somewhat crooked line here. Okay, going both ways. All right.